given the axe that s fallen on a number of many s other oddball ideas, so long pace man, it has a wonder that the club man, the bread van aping larger cousin of the hatchback, is still clinging on given that its shallow pool of buyers is presumably drawn from those dissatisfied with the regular five-door model s boot and simultaneously unmoved by the taller countryman. Yet here we are with another variant, and the costliest to boot. One suspects the constituents of the club mount a slender market share interested in a 228 bhp, all-wheel drive version would fail to see over a burly amoeba if many stack them one on top of each other, but the John Cooper Works model launches in the UK regardless, starting at £29,345 for the six-speed manual. As with the hatchback and convertible versions of the JCW, the higher output comes courtesy of the rework 2.0-liter 4-pot, which features an upgraded turbocharger and intercooler over the Cooper S unit. The Clubman S quirk is to twin the petrol motor with many S all four setup, which due to a beveled gear on the front differential and an electro-hydraulic clutch at the rear, lets the back axle share the torque distribution when the DSC system thinks it appropriate. Naturally, the beat-up powertrain comes with similar attention paid to the Clubman S chassis, where the car S already firm suspension settings have been made firmer still on standard 18 in wheels, 19 in alloys are optional, while the brakes get 4 piston calipers. Variable dampers are also on the tick list, as is the 8-speed Steptronic Automatic R test car came fitted with nudging its starting price up to £30,945. There is inevitably a lot of work to do to live up to that price tag, a range topping Ford Focus ST3 estate costs £3,000 less, but the latest mini interior does a decent job of showing you where the money has been invested. This is a premium product with a high-grade plastic fascia to prove it, and while the busy aesthetic is hardly an object lesson in restraint, it is fair to say that anyone at peace with the Club Maness exterior is likely a mini devotee of the unconditional sort. That has a handy mindset to bring into the JCW as it turns out because the model is not over-endowed with objective strengths. Chiefly it suffers from the standard Club Maness most enduring flaw, the ungainly and often irritating attempt to mimic the smaller hatchback S positivity with the steering rack that seizes on minor inputs and translates them into suddenly rigorous direction changes. The cooking model at least mitigates this with broader suppleness and less rim resistance but in the severely sprung JCW there is no yielding to ease of use, in sport mode the car simply tacks away from center employing pursuit of some meaningless vector. This inability to settle might be forgivable if later it awakened, Lazarus-like, into some subsequent animation. But its inconsistency is just too much of a hindrance, as too is the unavoidable and patent sense of heaviness that taints the model dynamically. Furnished with bigger bones and four-wheel drive, the JCW S-curb weight edges to around 200 kg more than the equivalent and hatch a lump of fatty tissue that clogs and ultimately subdues the normally healthy function of the turbocharged four-pot. Many may claim 6.3 seconds to 62 miles per hour, but the cheery, chest compressing urgency that ought to be virtually guaranteed by 228 bhp is gloomily absent even in low gears. The perfunctory, stacked up ratios and hazy upshifts of the slasher only serve to underline the mechanical strangulation going on in the engine bay, so much so that the club man rarely qualifies for the ancillary assistance of a driven back axle. Its failure to generate the kind of gratifying low-end thrust typical of modern hot hatches is particularly damning as it s the standard by which the wider segment gets graded certainly in a value for money equation. Put simply, the car no s and t feel quick enough for the premium mini is asking. Nor really is it practical enough, the boot made accessible by the double rear doors is nearly 250 liters smaller than a VW Golf R Estates. Neither feature would terminally damn it in our eyes had the JCW been suitably stimulating to drive, of course. But the Clubman's new range topper is tediously adequate at best, 